Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this video on spreadsheets. All right, maybe a little more than that. Uh, the point of this is just to kind of show uh, what I did as far as trying to make it easier to get your game set up with the arcade uh, time capsule 2.0 as it stands. Now, this is geared toward people as part of, from that Discord. Um, I normally post a lot of unlisted videos, but um, I got demonetized because I haven't posted enough public videos, even though the unlisted ones are technically public, but, you know, so, whatever. So, basically, now I'm going to be posting uh, all the content that was intended for specific groups, but you may be interested in too. So, what we're talking about here is this um, arcade time capsule, uh, which is a VR experience developed by Half Deck. Uh, it's just a personal project he's been working on and he's sharing it with the community and I think it's really cool. Um, as you can see the attention to detail is very um, immersive. I mean it's like you're uh, at an actual arcade. You hear all the machines around you. You've got 80s and 90s music playing. Um, you've got these detailed cabs that have dust fingerprints scratches as you can see and they have a very unique uh, feel and play. Um, so and the thing is, is these are all um, used in ROMs and, you know, there's always kind of that gray area there of, you know, how to, you know, is it actually legal? So the software itself does not come with the game, so you have to provide your own games. And uh, part of that process, um, you might run into some issues as far as them not all working. And that's kind of what the spreadsheet I made for is more of a guide. It's not a, you have to have this one. Um, but it, I wanted to go into detail to show you what it is and how it works. So, but as you can see here, this is just a quick little example for those that don't know what um, the VR arcade time uh, capsule is. Is uh, the 2D video doesn't actually give it justice, uh, you know, when you're talking about a VR experience. But you can see the the crispness and the high resolution um, of these games, which is pretty cool. So. Um, uh, and also, as you, um, even though it is a main backend, um, it uses X input, so you can use a controller. Um, and I do have, like, you know, the arcade take stick and uh, the extreme, you know, giant um, uh, joystick. Uh, but that's not really that practical, like, in the, my little office environment. So um, I actually use this. Uh, I originally got this for the N Nintendo Switch. Um, it does have a little toggle on here to toggle the X input and it actually works really great with all the games and it gives it a more immersive uh, experience playing on something like this than a controller so just something to think about and also that the uh, the main setup by default doesn't have like the typical keyboard inputs it's pretty much designed to be used with X input so um, so that said let's get into some of what this spreadsheet is. Um, what I did is I color coded it based on floor. Uh, for those of you that played, you know there are a few different floors. Two and three are um, under development. They're not uh, playable yet, but you got the floor one, four, five, six, and the Pasadena level. So this under the all games here, we on the column A I have listed all the titles of the game. And then the column B I have the ROM zip file and then to the right I or column C is the MD5 hash and then column D I just have some miscellaneous notes like uh, this game requires the Neo Geo.zip which is a BIOS file that doesn't come with the actual ROM sets and speaking of which uh, if you look at the arcade um, time capsule documentation it goes through some of the known uh, issues which uh, ROM sets to use um, and that's like, uh, let's see, we got these right here. Um, and that's actually kind of where I ran into some issues myself, where if I got the exact file name, um, I would play some, but then it wouldn't work. It would get like a fatal error or crash and end up having to either find multiple files or use a different ROM set, like from the MAME 2010 um, non-merge ROM set and basically 
I think a lot of people run into this problem and there's also in those main sets they're like you know 36 gig and you only need about about 860 meg with the 170 uh, I think what 178 files that you might need uh, so um, I have them all listed here and then like I say they're color coded so if you want to go to a particular floor here, let me switch back over here if you want to go to pick uh, particular floor you can say floor one this has all the games same information um, floor four five six and Pasadena so and what is the MD5 hash well it's basically a one-way cryptographic al algorithm um, I think it's 128 bit and what that allows you to do <coughs> is verify uh, the integrity of the file it goes bit by bit so if the file was corrupted um, or if there was a change to a file, you're going to get a different value. So what I have here in this list are the MD5 hash values of verified working ROMs. So these are ones that I've downloaded, I tested, and it works in this application. Because you may have other ones that uh, have the same file name but may not work. So, and it's not to say that they have to match this one because there are some other combinations you can get that will work. This is just for reference. So if you're having particular uh, problem with one of the games this is going to help you um, validate so how do you do that well um, if you have or if you are running windows you can bring up uh, a command prompt or powershell doesn't matter which one um, I have in the background here I actually have powershell but uh, the command I'm going to show you is will work in either powershell or the regular command prompt um, as you can see, I'm in the directory of where my ROMs are located. So if you open it up and you're not in that, like maybe you're in the C um, drive uh, and you have it somewhere else, um, like mine's on D. And so and I, I put mine under uh, games and then uh, arcade time capsule unpacked. And then you have the retro arcade, retro arcade um, content, and then ROMs. So if I type in directory, there's all my zip files with the ROM files. So now the question, let's say, you know, so I've downloaded it. And that's another thing, too. If you download it and it has a subfolder of ROMs and you move your ROMs folder over, make sure it doesn't create a subdirectory. Because I've seen some people where they'll have it under uh, retro arcade content ROMs and then another ROM subdirectory. It should just be the one ROMs, all the files listed here. Um, and so let's, uh, let's pull up a, a, a game here. So how about, um, let's look at Galaga here. You, for this MD5 hash, you don't need to verify every single letter here. The They're unique enough where even the last few, um, like the 652A6, the very last part of this Galaga, that that would be valid um, to compare against. So the command you want to do is um, cert util, and then uh, dash, and you say hash file, and the file name. So in this case, we were looking at Galaga dot zip, and then which algorithm you want to use. Um, so you could use uh, SHA-256 if you wanted, like Bitcoin, blast from the past. Oops can't type now but that's not what we're using um, we're going to change that to MD5 and then you can see here is our value ends in the 652A6 and as we can see on the Galaga 652A6 matches so uh, that is one way to uh, validate um, that the file that you have works. So this is, like I said, just one example. There, I'm sure there's other ones, but these ones I've personally tested myself. I know they work with the app as is with the current um, build of the 2.0. Um, the only other thing I would bring up is there's also a script on there that um, will uh, also do some checks and can move some files over for you. Uh, the only thing I found with that one is there's one file, um, I should see, I haven't checked, but it was referenced in the Google Doc, but there's one uh, game 
that's referenced there that's there's actually not a cab for so it's a basically an extra game that you can't actually play so i've removed that one and then uh, mortal kombat 2 is currently not working and uh that's you know documented in the known issues and then likewise you know on the um, spreadsheet too i have uh even on the all games list here i put some notes like uh mortal kombat 2 it crashes so i don't have a good rom to test with that and then these two games pac-man plus and uh rock and rope uh, they uh, render upside down. So even though they're um, playable, as far as they run, uh, playing it upside down isn't really ideal. So, uh, But all the other ones are fully functional. Um, if you have any questions uh, about this spreadsheet and um, trying to get those ROMs working, let me know. But the whole idea is since you can't like share direct links to ROMs or packs, you have to get them yourself. But this will at least give you a way to ver verify that the file that you have is the exact same one that I have that I have tested and made sure that it works. So um, again, it's just a reference. There, there are other combos and stuff that can, you can get to work, but just to try to save some uh, headache, this is a quick example. So hope that's uh, been helpful for you. And uh, just uh, thanks again to um, the community for all their contributions and half deck for sharing his personal project with everyone. I think uh, it's uh, really cool for those of you that like the nostalgic arcade and the VR uh, experience and immersive experience. I think that's uh, really cool. And, you know, for him sharing that free and uh, like I say, everyone else coming in to contribute to the project. So uh, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.